All right, this is going to be the antenna shootout between the Nagoyas and the Smileys. Here's the players we have right here. The 5 8 Slim, then that's the Smiley. The Nagoya 701G, and here we have is the Smiley Quarter Wave Slim. The Nagoya 701C, yeah, let's throw this in there. It's a dual bander, uh, but I got it, so we'll test it. And we got the set Nagoya 771G. And beside it is the Smiley Super Stick. It is a collapsible, collapses a quarter wave and extends the 5 8 wave. We're gonna give that one a test. As usual, we'll have the B-Tech GMRS V1 with the Argent Data System Simplex Repeater attached to it so it can throw back the signal it receives if it receives one at all so i need to find a fringe area where it's hard you know to pull out the signal using the stock antennas and see if the upgraded ones can uh, are up to the task of improving it enough that you can make out a signal and a view this morning Not bad. It's a cool 45 degrees. All right, for this test, I think the bearing is going to be from here over that RV and a clump of trees, a few trees, then a shot over a lake, a couple of hills, the repeater warrior, just about three feet above ground. See how it goes at that level. From the previous test I did at this location in the state park, I am about a thousand feet away, and more importantly, I'm about 10 feet higher. But in Florida, 10 feet matters. Um, and also, this has put me in line with more trees, I believe. The gain may be a wash from elevation, the trees may make it worse. We'll see. First location, man, this is gorgeous is about three quarters of a mile away i think it's in that direction I'm not totally positive but i think it will be right there where the trees get taller or in that little opening right there i don't know right where the sun the colors are i think that's about the spot of the repeater All right, so we're going to use the stock antenna here. It's 916, testing 1, 2, 3. 16, testing 1, 2, 3. Okay, clears the bell. Move on to a, another spot and see how it fares. That was cool. I just saw a deer while I was riding or driving. All right. The bearing is eh, somewhere in that neighborhood, so it's going to be over that, that little hill. It's not going to be a direct shot. I'll have to get the map out, look at it, but maybe one and a quarter mile from here. 916 stock, one, two, three. 916 stock, one, two, three. Okay, static -y, but it held it pretty solid. I'm going to look for a little bit weaker signal to uh, test the other antennas since they should probably perform better. Okay, another new location. A uh, mile and a quarter maybe? But a lot lower elevation than where I was before. And the bearing I think is through those trees. And over a hill. So I've probably got one hill between me and the radio repeater. Let's see what it does here. 916 stock 123. Okay, good. We'll move on. Alright, this is another maybe half mile, third mile, half mile down the road. Trees, just nothing but flat and trees was added to the terrain here. Let's try this again. 916, testing 123. Hmm, 
916, testing 1, 2, 3. All right, we'll go straight to the big stick, see if it uh, has anything here. 771G testing. Nothing. Okay, I need a better location. This is uh, not good. Okay, after lots of time wasted, I found a good spot, I think. What happened was, the batteries died on the simplex repeater. So I'm running around making these calls all over the place. I'm getting no signal thinking, man, this sucks. That location from three feet above the ground is terrible. If you look at my other video, um, the radio was on top of the RV. It's probably about 10 feet in the air where it was at, it's above, above ground. Right now it's three feet. And it's that direction. There's a little hill here. You gotta go over to a ridge and then there might be one more hill. I have to map it out. There might be one more hill in the way. Um, but this is higher elevation, one point, I think this is 1.35 miles, something like that. Anyway, let's test it here with the stock antenna. I think this is my spot. Stock antenna testing, one, two, three. Yep, this is the spot. All right, try stock antenna again. Stock and tennis testing, one, two, three. Okay, it holds it open. All right, I'm gonna try this with the, uh, the Smiley full quarter wave, see if it makes an improvement. Smiley quarter wave, one, two, three. Smiley quarter wave one two three. Seems to be about the same. Let's try the Nagoya, the 701G. It's quarter wave. Nagoya 701G. Nagoya 701G. Again, seems to be about the same. All right, next, we'll go to Slim Duck. And it's the Smiley Slim Duck, the 5 8 wave. Smiley 5 8 wave, Slim. Okay. Okay, that sounded a little bit better. Um, able to pick up a little bit more. I'm gonna go to the super stick, keep this adapter on here. Okay, this is in a quarter wave format. Okay, try this like this. Super stick quarter wave, one, two, three. That sounded worse than the, 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 the slim duck, but it sounded like the other quarter waves. All right, so we'll take it up. Smiley Super Stick Extended 5 8 Wave. Smiley Super Stick Extended 5 8 Wave. Oh, it's a lot better. A lot better. Okay. Let's try the Nagoya. Okay, this is Nagoya 771G. Nagoya 771G, testing 1, 2, 3. Try this again. Nagoya 771G. Nagoya 771G. Okay. It's improved too. Sounds like the um, the super stick extended. All right, let me see. Try something else here. Okay, I'm back on the slim deck. I'm gonna have a another radio. It will be the nine pro with the stock antenna. Uh, my wife's going to see if she can if she can hear me and call back and we can tell the difference between the B-Tech V1 and the 9 Pro. Okay, can you hear me at all? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good, good. 
Okay, well, there's a difference in the uh, performance of these antennas. The stock one wasn't bad. I didn't notice a difference in the improvement in the quarter wave and the stock antenna, and I would carry the stock one because it's shorter and, you know, less intrusive. The 5.8s had an improvement, and it's a little bit shorter. Well, not much. Okay, maybe it isn't really much shorter at all with the adapter here. The quarter waves for Nagoya and Smiley were both about the same. The 5 8 waves were about the same. I mean, you have two totally different methods of making an antenna. Um, this is a nice taper base, and you know, it's about, I think this is about 15 inches, 15 and a half inches long, something like that. The super stick extended. It looks like it's about another inch taller. And um, at first I thought this wasn't flexible at all, but it does have a base that is a little bit of give, and it does bend some. Of course, this is way this is more flexible, way more flexible. This one collapses. If you want to pack it and have a backup antenna, this might be easier to take than this. Personally, I would carry this little sucker, the super stick, and I carry the 5.8s. Why? Because this is better performing in a small, compact package. And the uh, this carry is nice and easy. I mean, look at it. It's short. I mean, this thing's got to be, I don't know, four inches tall, four or five inches tall. This would be better if you're going to carry with this rate this antenna mounted the whole time but it's going to stick in your armpit if it's on your waist and to me it'd be a nuisance and this one I wouldn't carry because it's stiff all the time either if I'm on the fringe and I'm not communicating effectively with a small antenna hush actually that was the uh, that was the 5 8 was picking up a signal and the quarter wave was not. I probably wouldn't buy the, the quarter wave of either one again if I had to. I would buy this 5 8 definitely. And I'd probably buy the the, the longer 5 8 waves, uh, the 771G and the Super Stick. I would probably buy both of those again. Have a good day.